God's Protection by Aneta Pinto For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. Psalm chapter 91 verse 3 David wrote many psalms and stories about courage in God and trust in his hand of protection. He was familiar with facing threats to his life from Saul, who was king over Israel. Even in these situations, David declared that even in the valley of the shadow of death, he feared no evil. This was because he was certain that God, who was his rod and staff, was comforting him. Psalm chapter 23, verse 4. Psalm chapter 91 is a favorite one for many believers, as it speaks to God's protection from the terror by night, the arrow that flies in the day, from pestilence and destruction. David said that even though thousands are falling around us, the evil would not come near us. Psalm chapter 91 verses 6 to 7. He was a fierce warrior who affirmed that God trained him for war and taught his fingers to fight. I can't remember any occasion in the Bible when David lost a physical battle. I noticed that he consulted God before embarking on battles to ensure that God was with him and to also understand the strategy. There were also instances of kings who weren't as confident and skilled in warfare as David, who still trusted God for protection. Jehoshaphat was king over Judah when three armies joined forces and threatened him. He was afraid and cried out to God for help. O oh, our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us nor do we know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 12 In this scripture, he cried out to God and acknowledged his strength and power. He called to remembrance all that God had done to save the generations before him. He reminded God that the countries that had joined forces against him had been spared when Israel drove out the inhabitants from Canaan. Lastly, he admitted to God that he had no strength or might to fight the army, but his eyes were on God. He called a fast in all of Judah and everyone stood before God to seek his face. The Lord spoke to Jehoshaphat and the congregation through the prophet Jahaziel to confirm that God had given them victory. God wanted the people to go out against the army and told them where they would be. You will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourselves. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord is with you. 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 17 This word brought relief and comfort for the people who felt outnumbered by such a great army. They worshipped God for his word of comfort and protection. The next morning, the king comforted the people and reminded them about the word of the Lord. He appointed singers and musicians to go ahead of the army to sing and worship. As they sang and worshipped God, he set ambushes against the armies and they were defeated. The armies turned against each other and destroyed each other until every soldier was dead. The people arrived to find a field of dead bodies, and what was a huge enemy army was now completely destroyed. The people spent days gathering the spoils, which included expensive clothing and jewelry. They returned to their city with rejoicing and joy, and the nations all around feared the people of God. There are instances when God raised up a mighty army to fight and defeat the enemies. On this occasion, 
the people didn't even have an army to compare with the armies that came up against them. I like how God didn't even allow them to fight. They preserved their strength and energy and instead used it to worship God. He fought the battle for them, kept them safe from harm, and destroyed their enemies. The devil is crafty, and we often don't have the wits or the strength to fight against him. Thanks be to God, who always causes us triumph, and the greater one who lives in us is greater than he who is in the world. Can you remember a time when you felt outwitted or outnumbered and God came through in a miraculous way? What battle or threat are you currently facing that has been causing you to fear? After reading this devotion, can you think of how God may come through for you if you seek Him and trust Him for help?